I seen a Kasana, Drewski, and Kevin Hart. I got a confession. I stayed up and watched the whole thing. <clears throat> okay, let's let's. Well, how old are you? <laughs> it was very I entertaining. Have, I have questions for you. Okay, talk so to what? Me. Where do you watch this on your computer or your phone? So usually I'm either on my iPad, my phone, or my computer. So like, are you in bed watching this? Uh, or no. are you like in the living room? Like, is yep. wifey yeah. right next to you? You're you're watching yep. the Kai Sinat stream. No, so usually I'm in the living room watching. Breeze on because then uh, in your breeze. So, I mean, I'm sometimes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. You see, you just and you're just I, like, I can't be on the couch ass naked watching <laughs> Kai. That's crazy. And then you're just like up all night watching the stream with your boxes and your iPad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what? I'm not mad at it because you know it's all for me. It's almost not cutting edge, but there's a yeah. lot happening that I want to be attuned to. And I figured, okay, we're going to talk about it here, so I'm why not indulge okay. if I can? I'm with you on that. Streaming is one of those things that our age range specifically, if we don't kind of get abreast with it or familiar with it, it's definitely going to leave us behind. So I definitely do hear what you're saying. Like, I felt like such a dumbass idiot when I didn't know that it, with Twitch, you could just go on Twitch.com and just go through stream. I thought you had I don't, to... Yeah, I don't think I've ever watched a full stream. I, I yeah. catch all the clips afterwards, though. Right, right. I That's catch I all of... Ki- if you mention anything that happened, I'd probably watch it through mm-hmm. the little clips, but I've never tuned in live. Yeah. yeah, it was good, though. And I do... Yeah, what you about to say, Samuel? I, I was going to say, I need to see the Kevin Hart, Drewski, and Kai not movie. See, I don't want to see that. You're bugging. I don't, I don't want to do. see the... I don't You're wanna, bugging. You know, I don't want to see the You're movie bugging. because I think Kai... And Drewski in particular work better as improv. I think oh, they work they're better. Not like actors. I, I, yeah. I think they work better in that environment. Person, but, but it like, could be improv. I was gonna though. ask you. I was actually yeah. gonna ask y'all, and, and just based on the clips, because I know none mm-hmm. of us watched it in right. full besides it's Pierre. Pierre. <laughs> um, and, and honestly, I would love to know your insight <laughs> on the suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we need that. We need I, and, that. and there was a moment I was at, um up working late. So I did watch some of it in real time. Mm-hmm. But like it just showed me three different types of comedy styles. <laughs> yeah. And they're all Literally, like they're equally funny yeah. on this stream in particular. Yeah, I'm not talking yeah. about totality not of careers, but in this arena, they were equally funny. Like I laughed at all three of these men mm-hmm. at different levels at the same vo- like whole like holding my stomach laughing at these dudes. So mm-hmm. w- if y'all had to choose based on what y'all saw, mm-hmm. who is the comedian that you gravitated to the most? Because for me. Oh, I know. The MVP, for, uh, and again, I think all of these guys are hilarious, funny. I was super impressed I by mean, Kevin Hart, but oh. the funniest one to me was Drewski. Yeah, oh. Drewski's a fool. Oh, damn. I was going to be like, I was going to be like, say, mom, what are you asking here? Like, <laughs> it's clearly Kevin Hart. Like, See, that's what I, I, I yeah. don't know. I think there was it was on full display, so everybody's going to pick whoever they resonated with the most, I guess. For me, I think Drewski is just fucking hot. Drewski, though, best, Drewski is genuinely an anthropologist, which yeah. is the study of, I think it's like human nature or whatever the fuck. It. Yeah. Like, well, the way he does his skits, he reenacts things like, oh, white frat boy or whatever the fuck. Um. But it's like scarily accurate. Like he's just studying human behavior and T-T. translating comedy into it, and he's acting. He's so he's talented. He's genuinely talented. He's like, so talented that he has a racist white man following him, and the racist white oh, man yeah. doesn't know that Drewski is making fun of him being racist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so <laughs> That's accurate. That I mean, he, I thought it was a bit. But he's thought, always with him. I thought the white dude was an actor. Oh no, he's always no, he's real. <laughs> nah, nah, he's nah. as real as <laughs> he's yeah. real as like my the, skin. Like um, his Drewski's forex skit where oh, they like are God. it's like literally like cult vibes, but it's oh, like funny. And then they put that side to side with a real forex <laughs> meeting from 2020, and it was like yeah. exactly the same. So yeah. shout out to Drewski, but yeah, I, I would pick Kevin Hart. I want to see that movie because Kevin Hart looks so comfortable. Yeah. on that stream, bro. And that's probably what I'm missing from his movies. You know, we were just talking about that. That stream, he, the way he was cracking on LeBron, I'm like, oh shit, Bro, this nigga got the funniest moment. He got jokes for LeBron. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm just so accustomed to corporate Kev and showing up when he needs. So I will say this though, he was very impressive on Tom Brady's roast. But for I sure. still don't think he was as comfortable as he was with Drewski. Yeah. No, he yeah. wasn't as comfortable. Yeah. He, he, he wasn't as comfortable, he was but comfortable. to just see the range yeah. and where he can go at this point in his career. Mm-hmm. And like the fact that he's that. still pushing the envelope to try something like like he's an A-lister. And mm-hmm. staying relevant. He's an A-lister. Yeah. We yeah. don't have many A-listers today. Like, I know they be trying to force these A-listers down our fucking throats. Like <laughs> every day I see a new commercial, a cologne commercial, these new fucking actors and actresses. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, all right, I get it, he's popular. But he's not an A-lister. Like I know what an A-lister feels and looks like. Like Will Smith, A-lister. Brad Pitt, Mm A-lister. The Rock, A-lister. You know what I'm saying? Kevin Hart, A-lister. So to see him go in this arena and just exist and just live, and like honestly, my brain is so fucking sick. I'm watching (laughs) this live stream, waiting for one of them to fuck up to get him canceled. 
Nah, yo, yeah. get out, nigga. Not he, that I wanted it to yeah, happen. Such a hater. No, 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 no. That's your problem. Nah, listen, nah, I see listen. what you're saying. Get out. I see what you're saying. Can y'all, y'all, y'all didn't hear me out. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm they, right. he, <laughs> me too. Kevin Hart is so seasoned. <laughs> yeah. Kevin Hart has so much more to lose yeah. that one mistake when you're live will affect him way more than it's going to affect these two guys. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. They're green. And then not only, it's not like it was just the three of them. They brought their homies in. They brought yeah. other streamers. Like there were so many variables where something could have went wrong and Kevin Hart is going to be the the headline of the news yeah. if something goes horribly wrong like if somebody drops <laughs> or if somebody talks about whatever the bullshit is right like yeah, yeah. He's going to be responsible. Mm-hmm. Like it's Kevin Hart we're talking about. It's yeah, Kevin yeah. Hart. Yeah. So it's not that I wanted that to happen to Kevin no. Hart. Of course not. But I'm just sitting on edge as I was watching the stream and fucking doing spreadsheets. I'm looking like, all right, <laughs> if somebody fucks up, like even when they call LeBron James, LeBron didn't know they was on stream at first. No, nah, no, nah, Bron called in. He called in? Yeah, yeah, he called Kev. <laughs> oh, I didn't. But maybe he just called them as yeah. a friend. But you can tell in real time, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, they were walking LeBron James through. <laughs> hey, bro, you are I'm on, on stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you could tell by his, LeBron's first sentence. Yeah, hey, what's up, nigga? <laughs> He's like, yo, Kev, what up, nigga? Drewski yo, said, yo, no, wait. Then, then Drewski was like, yo, say it again. Say it again. Say it again. <laughs> they, were like, they were like, yo, bro, I say nigga like that. <laughs> Drewski said, yo, what, bro, when you start saying nigga? <laughs> so LeBron probably <laughs> called him because that's really his man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, I don't think he called him because he knew he was on stream. Like how, you call Kevin Hart and you think he's on live stream? No, it's fucking Kevin Hart. Yeah. So he just called his friend. Like, yo, what up, nigga? Like, I understand that, right. but to see in real time, right? Like at the end of the day, in that arena, no matter what, no matter how many people are there, like Kevin Hart is responsible for that environment. Yeah, yeah. And so Rich Paul, Rich Paul called yeah, yeah, yeah. in. Like, so if anything goes left, <laughs> Kevin rich- Hart is gonna almost be responsible by default and it's going to affect him more than anybody yeah. if somebody says or does something that's uh you know deemed cancelable <laughs> even though you're right though sometimes when you're just so massive and you start them that yo yeah. you can't and, be around everything and in the moment yeah, yeah yeah in the moment kai does a very good job of controlling things though yeah, yeah, yeah. like he gets it like you could tell he understands the balance between being super funny and stupid and but, then like having but not too relax. much exactly yeah, like yeah. Pierre, what'd you pull from it so for me like you guys said, all three of them, there was a lot of people there, but for me, all three of them were funny. But personally, to for me, Drewski was doing a lot. <laughs> so I kind of more so wanted to see um, Kai and Kev interact a little bit more. And even thinking down the road, I'd watch that movie first or instead of all three of them. Because um, mm. I think they're, like, like for me, it could be the perfect like father-son, quote-unquote, yeah. type of movie. Mm-hmm. And I like to see them more so interact Exclusively with each other, and Drewski being like a side character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like the son's best friend. But but speaking of Kevin Hart's range, when we were saying a few minutes ago about how he plays the same funny character in every movie he does, but did you guys watch the series on Netflix called True Story that Kevin Hart did about his life, Mm -hmm. about the extortion, all that? That was serious. It was. was, It was phenomenal. Please, if you're listening to this, watch. I I like guarantee you will like it. I think it was also based in events that probably occurred in his life. Yeah, yeah like right? he was reenacting the, the extortion thing. It was based on yeah. him and it was, oh my God. Wait, is, Do- is Don Cheeto in it? No, that's Wesley Snipes and yeah. that was racist. <laughs> yeah. No! No, I know Wesley Snipes was in it, but I'm thinking of another character. But He that's may funny. have been. I don't know. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, that. <laughs> but that was you definitely... Got me. That was <laughs> you got me. That was definitely his best acting performance I've personally seen. Aside so, but, from like soul playing That, show, that shows that he could do it though. Yeah. He, no, has, he, he has that yeah, range. Yeah. 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 No, it, it, it was fun. And it was good to see it. And maybe it encouraged. And I don't even know if it could encourage other actors or A-listers to do some shit like that. Because I think he truly may be one in, one of one in that arena. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where he can do it and everything will be okay. I think they respect him. I think he mm-hmm. has the respect of from Kai, from Madruski, yeah. where they won't push the envelope too much to jeopardize him. Yeah. I think everybody in that room, right? Like, yeah. I think he garners that respect, but then he also knows how to live and exist in that world. Yeah. And I just thought it was dope. I thought Super it was like- Super impressive. It was, yeah, it was really impressive. Because yeah. again, I'm just waiting for somebody to try, because the thing about today and streaming and the, the generations that we're in, the times that we're in, everybody is looking for that moment, right? So all it takes is one, person Mm -hmm. that has nothing to it doesn't have to be drewski and it doesn't have to be kai it could be one of the people associated around associated because again they allowed a lot of variables in that environment there is no cut there is no hey let's stop this and let's figure it out there is no producer right like 
you try to pull a prank and it goes wrong, there's there's major consequences, mm-hmm. right? And so for mm-hmm. Kevin Hart to understand that the stakes are at that level and mm-hmm. I'm still going to dive into this lane, yeah. it says a lot.